It's a time of mixed fortunes for retailers in Canada. While Sears has reported declining sales and layoffs, another U.S. chain, Target, is opening up more than 100 stores in Canada with plans for many more. Christian Yeo explains. It's taking aim at Canadian consumers. Target's move north has been well publicized, with nearly as much hype made about their first TV commercial here as the Oscars coverage it debuted in. If Canadians didn't already know about Target, they do now. More than 90% of consumers today, according to Target's research, actually are familiar with the name Target and with their famous bullseye. That is a lot for these Canadian retailers to fight off. And fight they will. The chain's nearest rival, Walmart Canada, is spending $450 million on expansion this year. A battle for consumer dollars is on the horizon, spanning most areas of retail. Groceries, electronics, clothes and drugs. The likely winner in this clash, the consumer. I think it's going to be World War III when, when, when Target opens their doors. Uh, Walmart is not going to allow them to take away their share without a fight. So we're going to see um, the meeting or beating anything they offer. Retail prices might be falling in Canada, but so is profitability. Today, Sears Canada announced revenue and same-store sales both declined during the holiday period, a sign that shopping habits are changing. Target's arrival comes as many retailers here are cutting back. Just last month, Sears and Best Buy announced 1,600 layoffs between them, something analysts blame on the rise of internet shopping and less demand for big box stores. Less demand or not, Target is arriving with lofty ambitions. Having circled the Canadian retail scene for more than a decade, it's taken over the leases of more than 120 Zellers stores from Hudson's Bay Company. This, according to analysts, gives Target instant economies of scale and more bite in the marketplace. Only time will tell if its bark was bigger. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.